there's no finish line to leadership. It's a constant path to development. And what's beautiful about this process and, and this organization and this fellowship, it's less to do about your resume, it's less to do about you know, what you did or your experience, it's more about who you are. We all want to give back. We want to do more within our community. We strive for creating those personal connections with people. You know, our mission is to enrich people's lives, and we've discovered over the last few years that the best way to enrich someone's lives is to engage them. You've got to connect with them, get them introduced to other people in their communities, uh, and then we can begin that process of creating a richer life. A group about this size changed everything. That was a spark that lit the whole fire. You've got the, uh, you got the original eyes of Ed on, on your back, and people started asking, you know, what is this all about? So you got to meet everyone, everyone's cool. It's cool to hear there's probably people going through you know, with less than 20 full-time staff, most of the work gets done by our volunteer leaders. We have about 1,100 total volunteer leaders across the country that, you know, go out in our communities and really make a difference. You can only have that level of engagement. You can only run a local, consistent organization if you have a tremendous number of leaders that are out there in communities all across the country that are motivated and inspired and have the resources and the guidance they need to be effective out there every day doing their volunteer work. And so this year we're making a huge investment in our leaders because they're the lifeblood of the organization. We have 13 chapter captains in addition to the 15 fellows and then a few new staff members that we've selected from across the country to do a 12 month fellowship. Basically it's a huge opportunity to develop as a leader through education, through experience, and through mentorship. When they leave here, not only do they know the exact you know, foundations of Team Red, White, and Blue, but they'll go back to their communities and their chapters, and they'll teach their members that. Leadership is the only way to change our communities. You can't change the community without leading the community into that change. With veterans and those that support veterans leading the way and showing the example, I think that Team Red, White, and Blue will have a leading role in showing America what it means to start working together again and to connect and to start moving forward in a positive direction.